Steal from me, would ya? Don't you dare do that again, or else. Don't get on my nerves. Halt! Commandant Sebastiano does not wish to be disturbed. What's going on here? It happened like this. Takarigua was ravaged by shadow minions. A cave, shaped like a skull, erupted from the ground, and they came pouring out. The pirate's den in the east of the island was destroyed first, and we'd probably all be dead if Commandant Sebastiano hadn't rushed to our aid. He led us deep inside the cave. But... But what? The Commandant ordered us to retreat. We evacuated the people. And our new orders are to defend Puerto Sacarico. But that's not all, right? Not quite. The Guardian Horas, our prisoner, has run off. If you know anything about him, you'd better report it immediately. Anything else? Governor De Fuego is gone, and uh, a few people have deserted. And you still have everything under control? I told you, we're having some difficulties. One more thing. What do you think happened to Governor De Fuego? We noticed he was missing one morning. He must have left the camp during the night. What else do you know? Talk to the guards. Maybe one of them saw him. 
Tell me about the deserters. Vasco and Severin disappeared. Which of you was ordered to catch them again? I don't know. Commandant Sebastiano gives the orders around here. This guardian, Horas, the one you're looking for. Yes. What do you know about him? He's one of those who joined the mages. They called themselves the Guardians. Why'd you lock him up? You'd better ask the Commandant about that yourself. But it doesn't matter now. He's gone. Where could he be? We've got people out looking for him, but they haven't found a trace so far. To be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if he were somewhere nearby. Where would you hide if you were Horas the Guardian? Somewhere along the beach. It's where I'd always be able to see both Puerto Sacarico and our ship. You'd see our every movement from the beach and be able to react instantly. But you already looked for Horas at the beach, didn't you? Ah, uh, we did? I'm not sure. We still need to secure the camp against the shadows. If only we had more men. Never mind. It was just a question. Let me speak to Sebastiano. I told you, the Commandant doesn't want to be disturbed. Don't give me a hard time. We've got enough problems as it is. But it's important. You think so? And what's so important that I should let you pass? I'll think of something. You do that, because I can't let you pass without a good reason. Smith. Oi, you're from outside, aren't you? What's the situation there? One word. Bleak. Holy shit. It's very well guarded here. Guarded? Surely you mean monitored. Listen, I've been trying to get out of here for days. Yet anyone who tries to leave without permission is killed. I guess you've had better days. You could say that again. This island is a powder keg. On the one side, you've got Sebastiano, and on the other, those shadow beasts. And both are dangerous when unchecked. What do you know about the shadow creatures? Not much. Only that they kill anything that crosses their path, and that they come out of a dark hole somewhere inland. Damned shadows! This was once a beautiful place full of life, and now this! We'll all be dead before too long anyway, unless something happens soon. I can't bear to think about it. What about Sebastiano? He's usually a very responsible man. He's in charge of the military drills in Puerto Sacarico, but he's gone totally batshit insane. Right. Yeah, that skull cave really changed him. I understand. You mentioned something about permission. A redeployment order. Sebastiano could still have one in his office. Not for me, but for a soldier that kicked it while advancing into the dark cave. Right. What would you give me if I got you the letter? G give you? Well, everything I own. Good answer. I'll get you the redeployment order. Really? Cheers, but, but be careful. Don't get caught. Do you know anything about Di Fuego? He vanished during the night. I'll go and talk to the night watchman. What can I learn from you? What would you like to know? I'd like to improve my musket skill. Got it. I'd like to improve my musket skill. All right. Show me how to deal with shot wounds more effectively. Got it. I'd like to sustain less damage from magic. All right. 
Show me how to manufacture firearms. Got it. Show me how to distill liquor. Got it. What do you sell? I have no blueprint. Hey, what are you doing here? Get out of my kitchen. My potatoes will burn if you keep distracting me. Oh, oh, too late. So, what did you want? You're a cook. No, fuck that, I'm a soldier. Then what are you doing in the kitchen? Someone has to make sure that the fine, fancy gentlemen get their food and drink. I had no choice in the matter. I just hope nobody complains about the taste of my food. I've been using everything I can find to stretch this stodge out so there's enough for everyone. No idea how Osorio used to manage. Where did you hide the good stuff? The... the good stuff? I bet you don't eat the stuff you serve to others. Hmm. Fine. Here. Now keep quiet. People don't like your food. Well... They haven't said so outright, but if even I don't like it... I'm a soldier, for fuck's sake. I should be shooting people, not cooking. Let me get back to work. I have to heat up Rockfall's wine for him. Hot wine? May as well drink seawater. It's more fun. I know, but he likes it that way, and I need to keep him happy. What can you teach me? Depends on what you want to know. I'd like to prolong the effect of painkillers. No problem. I'd like to increase my life force. All right, then. I'd like to increase my life force. No problem. Show me how to eat raw meat. All right, then. Let's trade. No problem.
Don't do anything stupid, got it? Shut your trap and march. This is life. What in the Geiger's name is going on here? If you want to steal something, yeah, go somewhere else. Of it. What do you know about Ifuega? He's the governor of Takaregua. I need more detailed information. When did you last see him? That was a while ago. I've stopped counting the days. Sling your hook. Yeah, bugger off out of it. I'm going to make a hat out of your skin! <laughs> I'm going to crush a few skulls now! Good! I'm going to make a hat out of your skin! <laughs> Ooh, that hurt! I'm going to make a hat out of your skin! That was fast.
the dance begin. Well, well, well. What are we doing? That's <laughs> the way it should be. Halt! Let me speak to Sebastiano. What do you want to see him about? That's between me and him. Maybe. But you're gonna tell me first. So, what is it? I found Governor Di Fuego's corpse. The governor's dead! Fine. You can go in, but be careful. The Commandant's in one of his moods, so don't pick a fight with him. Yeah, yeah. What? Yes. You? You work Scrap. with the pirates, don't you? Listen. Don't even try. Last you warning. You are out. one of them. What do you want? Are you trying to spy on us? Get lost! Just relax, would you? Is that how you talk to a commandant of the Inquisition? Someone like you would never have made it into our ranks. I wonder why. Enough. I'm already surrounded by enemies. I don't need another one. And if even my own people are turning against me, who can I trust now? So, you're the governor of this island? No, usually Governor de Fuego is in charge here, but the cowards simply bolted. I see. Don't waste your time with that fellow. He's not worth it. I have taken over command, and that's all you need to know. Got it? How can I help? If you're here to fight, you'll be paid as befits a mercenary. What do you want to pay me for? Severin the soldier has deserted. He and that other one, Vasco. And? And deserters will be shot. You should find them both and get rid of them. You got anything else? A guardian called Horus has snuck in among us. Find that bastard and tell me where he is so we can execute him. Why are you so keen on killing him? He's a thief. He came into my house and stole from me. And then he vanished. But just you wait till I'm done with you. You wish you were... <clears throat> just find him. I'll take care of the deserters for you. You better. Something is written here. According to that, McFlane was the only shooter to hit the center with all five bullets. He demonstrated his capability on a roof in Puerto Sacarico. You'd better not touch it. Thieving swine up! Cut your hands off! Ah! 
You get what's coming, you mark my words. Will you stand still? Right then. Here's your transfer letter. Amazing! Uh, I mean, thanks, mate. My pleasure. When will you be leaving this island? Now I've got this letter, it can wait. Knowing that I can leave is enough for me. The way it's looking outside, I'm probably much better off in here. We're watching you, civilian. Sebastiano sends his regards. Oh no. I'm in for it now. Calm down. Calm down? Sure. Just give me 200 gold, and I'll tell Sebastiano the issue has been resolved. You do that for me? If you ask me again, I might change my mind. All right. All right. Here's your gold. Sebastiano would like to see you dead. I know. And what do you intend to do? Nothing at all. Stay hidden. If you stay hidden, everyone will think you're dead. You've got courage in your veins. That's good.
Go, please! Go on! They won't get us. There's one more thing. Vasco is dead. Very good. I hope he paid dearly for his treason. Show Severin no mercy, and report back to me soon. There's one more thing. Severin won't cause you any more problems. That's excellent news. He was unworthy of the rank of Commandant anyhow. I took care of the deserters. Well done. That will serve as a warning to the others. Here's an extra reward for you. I found Governor de Fuego. And? Where is that fat... the governor? He's dead. Hmm. He's not the first to be taken by the shadows. I don't think it was the shadows. What makes you say that? The tip of a sword was still stuck in his body. So? A sword is a sword. You're just wasting your time. Your sword was used to kill Governor de Fuego. Hmm. I've been looking for that blade. Are you trying to tell me that someone found your sword and used it to kill de Fuego? I'm trying to say that it doesn't matter what happened to de Fuego. He's dead. And you should leave it at that. Go, please! Get lost! Make yourself useful. Go, please! Go on, get out of it! I've got to take care of the troops.
to make a hat out of your skin. <clears throat> Sugar King fields have been burned. That's the final nail in the coffin for this island. Without rum, it will fall into oblivion. Oh no, Chaka. Oh no, Maloke. Oh no, Palava, Kucho. Get lost, they said. So good old Osorio went too. It's your own fault. Oh, shut your face. Who pissed in your porridge? Who pissed in my porridge? This whole bloody island. I should be in the kitchen in Puerto Sacarico right now. What's wrong anyway? That. The whole world's going down the drain and you ask me what's wrong. In case you missed it, I'm stuck here in the middle of nowhere. And the fine, lordly soldiers are sitting up there in my kitchen. Tell me, what is a cook supposed to do without a kitchen? Find a new job. I'm warning you, don't push it. What's keeping you here? Don't you dare laugh, but, well, when the other ships left, I was asleep. When you're a cook, your sleeping patterns are slightly different, you know. And... Now I'm stuck here with the natives. At least you're not alone. Yeah, great. They don't understand a word I say. What happened to the plantation? Well, what does it look like? 
The shadows stormed through here like a pack of wild boars, and then, suddenly, they scarpered. There's hardly any sugar cane left. Does that mean there won't be any rum? Spot on, mate. All I've got left is my own personal stock. You must have a few bottles of rum left for me. I said those are my personal stores. What makes you think I'd share them? There's no way you could drink all that yourself. Well, on a good day, I can drink a bottle or two. Uh, I'm feeling generous. Here, I'm gonna have to see some gold if you want more. Why don't you get back to your kitchen? Oh, what a wonderful idea. You probably don't realize they plucked me like a turkey up there. Civilians should not remain in Puerto Sacarico any longer. The atmosphere is so polluted where they are, I even think the smoke on the plantation will be a hundred times better. Do you need help? I'll be damned. You're offering to help me. Well, there is one little thing you could do for me. And what would that be? A few nights ago, I was robbed by a bird. It swooped down from the mountain and grabbed my purse with its talons. What sort of bird was it? How should I know? It was a fucking bird. All I know is that it wasn't a boiling fowl. So, listen. You just bring me my purse back, and I'll think about how I could reward you. Let me know when you're ready to start searching. Which direction did the bird go? It flew straight to the mountaintop in the south. Which mountain? The one to the east of Puerto Sacarico. You'll find vines there, which you can use to climb up. What's so special about your purse? Nothing. But if you want to get my arse off this island, a little seed money is never a bad thing. Makes sense. I'll return your purse to you. I'll take your word for it. Good luck. What can you sell me? Just have a look around. I 
finally I get to use my weapon! <sighs> Hey, you little shit. Piss off. I'm the Lord of the Realm of Clouds, and I do not appreciate your presence here. Do you welcome everyone like this? No, no, no. You've come to me, so I get to ask the questions. I will ask you three. If you can't give me the right answer to any of them, you're dead. Right. What do a ship's bell and a bird have in common. Um... I knew you didn't know it. Don't think I'll let you off the hook after one question. Tell me, how many feathers does a bird have to shed when the sun shines? I don't understand a fucking word. Ha! You lost! You had your chance. Prepare to meet your maker. Hang on. You were going to ask me three questions. Damn. 
You muddled me up. Then go ahead and ask your stupid questions or whatever you came here for. Are you a pirate? I used to be, until the pirate's nest burnt down. The only thing I could save was a box full of voodoo dolls. That was a real treasure, man. With those things, you can transform into a parrot and circle about in the air. Free. Since then, I've been the Lord of the Skies. What are you doing here? Well, I'll have a little drink and wait. And what are you waiting for? Just for the right moment to jump off the cliff and seize my prey. You've not got both oars in the water, have you? I'm not crazy. Before you stands the most cunning bird of prey of all time. And don't think I'll tell you where my nest is. You can forget that. Did you steal from Osorio? You mean the fat cook on the plantation? Yeah, I did relieve him of a little gold. Wish I could have seen his face when he realized I'd taken off with his purse. But if you're planning to snatch my loot away from me, you can think again. I've hidden it in such a perfect spot in my nest that no one will ever find it. We'll see about that. Unless you grow wings, you'll never get hold of it. Get your hands on the loot. That's the most important thing in life. I found your hiding place. But... but that's impossible. Does that mean you pocketed my stash too? Seems that way. Yeah. Uh, well, that's not on. Nothing safe from you bastards anymore. Now I'm left with nothing again. Not so bad after all. Go, have a drink. <laughs> Are you sure you don't have a guilty conscience? Well... Thanks anyway. Comfort drinking is probably the best plan right now. I'll be off then. So what will you do now? The things you ask. I'll start raiding again. I've got so good at flying. I don't need this voodoo doll anymore. So, if you can just move aside, I need to make a running jump. I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Because your plan is fucking mad. You think I'm gonna die? Hmm, fine. Then I won't do it. Get your hands on the loot. That's the most important thing in life. You rotten scoundrel! 